Pretty cool scene Sunday night in Evanston. Northwestern celebrating its first ever field hockey national championship and the first for any Big Ten team in 20 years. Sophomore midfielder Matty Zimmer tallied one of the two goals in the Cats' win over Liberty. He was named the tournament's most valuable player. And Maddie Zimmer is joining us now. She is today's big interview. Maddie, congratulations. We are a little less than 48 hours since you guys won that national championship. How would you describe the time since that final whistle blew and you were a national champ up until right now? It's honestly still feels so surreal. I can't believe that we've achieved this. Um, we worked so hard for this. COVID really um, tested us and challenged us, but I think we rose to that challenge and we're all just so excited and I couldn't be happier for my teammates, my coaches, the rest of Northwestern. What's been the coolest moment since the end of the game? The coolest moment? Um, Honestly, probably right at the end of the game, I jumped on Annabelle Skubich's back and uh, we did like a big dog pile. And I mean, I think that's a dream that every field hockey player has since their little, you know, dog pile at the end of the game. Um, and I still, I keep replaying that moment over in my head. It's amazing. I loved the scene that we just showed of you getting off the bus there on North Campus and having all the <laughs> marching band and, and lots of Northwestern fans there to greet you. G give us a, se a sense of what that trip home was like. Um, it's a pretty long trip home, but it was a nonstop party. <laughs> we couldn't wait to get back. Uh, seeing everyone lined up there, the band, that was insane. Um, we were so excited and really, really happy that the rest of like the athletic community like wanted to share this with us and was there to support us. We really couldn't have done it without all of them. And it was a really, really cool experience to share with everyone. Let's talk about the game a little bit. Liberty really took it to you at the beginning of the game. I mean, they came out with a ton of energy. In the first quarter, they earned a bunch of corners, and it felt like they were kind of controlling the game early on. What was going through your head in that first quarter? Uh, the first quarter, obviously, was a little shaky. They uh, outshot us and had more corners, but um, I think we were a little nervous in the beginning, but Annabelle is just rock solid in the goal. We have one of the best defensive corner units in the country, and they really stepped up when we needed it most. Um, so credit to them in that first quarter. They really kept us in the, uh, kept us in the game. So You completely dominated the second half. I mean, you totally flipped the script on this game. What changed? Um, at halftime, we really had to talk about the kind of energy we were bringing. We were playing a little frantic, so we knew we had to keep the energy high, but kind of level ourselves so that we were playing our hockey. We weren't focused on the atmosphere or the other team. It was just us, and I think that we really started to play our game in the second half. Your team lost five games this year, which is tied for the most ever for a field hockey national champion. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. Now, part of it is the Big Ten was insanely good, and we chronicled that all year, just how dominant this league was. But it did seem like you guys went from being a very good team to being a great team. Was there a moment where you felt like that switch got flipped for your team? Um, I think the first game of the NCAA tournament for us when we played uh, the three-time defending national champs, UNC, and we came out on fire, attacking. Our defense was really, really solid. And I think that was the moment when we realized, like, hey, we could really go all the way. Um, of course, Tracy, Will, and Georgia believed in us the entire time. They knew we could do it. I, but I think that was the moment that the team kind of realized, like, we could do it. You mentioned Tracy Fuchs. And this is uh, obviously an amazing moment for her. She won as an assistant coach. She won as a player as well. She's one of the great players in the history of the game. What does it mean to be coached by someone who is so legendary and who has been there, who has walked the same path that you are as a player? Yeah, Tracy is such a role model for me. Um, she is a 
big, big reason why I decided to come Northwestern. She had a vision in mind. She wanted to win a national championship. I wanted to win a national championship, and I knew that she could take us there. She's been incredible throughout my entire field hockey journey. Um, she's incredibly supportive of all of like the USA events that we're going to, and she's just the coolest person. I'm so lucky to have her as a coach, and she will be a mentor for many years to come. Yeah, you were a top 10 national recruit. You were in a field hockey hotbed of central Pennsylvania. As you thought about different schools, I mean, Northwestern has a history of being very good in field hockey, but it's a long time ago. I mean, it, it's certainly not in your lifetime where they've been anywhere near this level. What made you decide Northwestern, maybe rather than some schools that were annually playing in the Final Four? Um, I think that I could really see like the potential with the program. They're recruiting world-class players. Um, Tracy, obviously, is a big, big reason I came here. Uh, the academics are amazing, and my visits were incredible. Um, the team chemistry, I felt like I could really fit in. Uh, Kayla Blass is also a big reason that I came to Northwestern. She is one of my closest friends, and she did such a great job kind of recruiting me as well. <laughs> She's the type of person that I knew that I wanted to be friends with and I knew would be a great teammate, and she has definitely lived up to that. You tore your ACL your senior year of high school. How tough was that to come back from and in what way, if any, did it impact your thoughts in recruiting? Um, so that was a very trying time. Um, not a fun way to end my senior year, but I had constant support from Tracy, my teammates at Northwestern, the girls that are in my class now. Um, so there was never really a doubt in my mind that I would still go to Northwestern. Um, you know, I signed my letter of intent. It was set in stone, so I knew I was ready to come and ready to play. Some of our field hockey analysts have noted to me that in studying your game last year, when you were great, I mean, you were Big Ten freshman of the year, but last year to this year, they said they felt like your fitness improved significantly. To what do you attribute that? Um, Leslie Moser, our strength and conditioning coach, she works us so hard and we were like the polar data so um, she's always keeping track of that making sure that we're staying fit um, honestly all of that is just from her tell me about <laughs> tell me about that data what, what is that um, so basically she keeps track of how far we run in a game how far we run in a week our heart rate our average speed um, and during our off week before we played Iowa the first time, um, we upped the running then. And I actually think that really helped going into the tournament. Our fitness was better than it had ever been during the season. And I think that's a big reason that we were able to compete in those big games and win. So, When you think about upping your game from last year, you of course did it individually. Your team did as well. You lost in the second round of the NCAA tournament last year and it was tied for the furthest that this program had been under Tracy Fuchs. To what extent do you think that fueled some of these things you're talking about in the off season and, and upping your conditioning and, and trying to get to that that next plateau? Yeah, so we beat Iowa twice that season and then had to play them again in the Elite Eight and I just don't think that we came together as a team in that game. And I think having to play them again in the Elite Eight this year it was, you know, it was for revenge. We wanted to go to the Final Four. We were so close last year, and we knew we wanted it more this year. And I think we showed that. Lauren Wattis' goal was insane. It was so exciting. And I think that we really, really picked it up in that game. So you were the Pennsylvania Player of the Year in lacrosse as well, I noticed. Uh, any thought of jumping over and playing for Coach Imani Hiller? Because you may have heard she's got a pretty good program, too. I have heard about their program. <laughs> My mom and I have been following uh, lacrosse and college lacrosse um, ever since I was in elementary school. So it's it kind of crazy that, you know, I'm friends with some of the girls on the team and, you know, there's so much support between both programs. But field hockey is my one love and I don't think I could ever <laughs> leave it. So sorry, lacrosse. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just a sophomore, what do you do for an encore now? 
I don't know, just enjoy it. <laughs> um, always, always want to go back to back, but right now I think the team is just going to enjoy the moment, prepare for the future, and that's about it. <laughs> As well you should. Lots to be proud of. Congratulations. Maddie Zimmer, Thank have a you. great Thanksgiving. And, and again, national champ. Sounds pretty good, huh? Sounds great. All Thank right. you.